Did you know you could use Tumultype to combine several animations in one interactive scenery? Didn't you always want to tell your story in a non-linear way? Well, then you might want to check out this sample on Twitter Hype. Whether you're telling a story or presenting facts, it's always a challenge to find the right balance between big picture and providing details. In movies, scenes therefore often start with a long shot and then zoom in to show the action. We can take it one step further and allow the user to control the zoom through interactivity and nested animations. Here's an example. John wants to present his portfolio, but he wants to do it in a fun and engaging way. We therefore created an interactive scenery in which the user can decide if he wants to know more about John, his work, or his cat Paula. Creating such a scenery is pretty straightforward in Tumult Hype. With this sample, you will learn how to create a zoom effect and combine it with triggered animations. So let's take a look at the project. The animations are nested in symbols. This allows us to control the playback independently from the main timeline. Hype also offers multiple timelines. This powerful feature lets us create animation variations, for example, an idle state and an active state, and switch between them. Creating a zoom for the entire scenery is easy when you place all the elements in one group. You can then apply a scaling for the entire group to create a camera-like zoom. Using the multiple timelines in Hype, again, makes it super easy to create several zoom variations. Since these timelines are independent, we can use symbol actions to trigger the appropriate animation. All that's left to do now is starting the right timeline with actions, in this case on click. Let's take another look at the final example to see the result. As soon as the user clicks on a hotspot, the appropriate zoom timeline gets started, which again triggers the nested animation. This allows nonlinear storytelling without having to write a single line of code, and this concept, as you can imagine, can be applied to various occasions, so it's highly reusable. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little hype sample. Make sure to download the entire project, including a step-by-step -step guide to recreate and experiment. As always, all the assets and code snippets are 100% free to use. And don't forget to check out the other samples on tourdahype.com as well. So, happy animating!